Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I uh, it was a beautiful day today, and I decided to uh, film it uh, part of part of the video out here because of the beautiful um, background there. And it's not very windy, so I can uh, you'll be able to hear me speak. And um, today I would like to um, do a video about having tea. You have probably seen, for those of you who have read the um, diaries of the Grand Duchesses, um, you've probably seen um, a lot of uh, tea, tea in the morning, tea in the afternoon, tea in the evening sometimes. Um, so um, I got to thinking, I wonder what exactly having tea meant. I mean, obviously, there was tea that they drank. having tea from a samovar uh, and yes the Romanovs did have samovars and I will show you some pictures of the uh, of their samovars and in fact uh, the imperial children had samovars made uh, specially custom made for each one of them uh, each one was unique and uh, they actually used them to have tea and um, I will show you the samovars that did survive um, at least uh, the, the girls, some of ours did survive, and I will show them to you a little bit later. Um, I do have a samovar of my own at home. It's not the um, same, obviously, but it is a samovar, and I'll show it to you a little bit later when I get home and uh, I'll be uh, recording this video. I'll show you my samovar, and I will show you the traditional way of. Um, making tea in a samovar and uh, the traditional way of drinking it. Um, so the traditional way of drinking tea in Russia is in a glass, not a mug, a glass with a glass holder. Um, I have one of those and I will show you uh, mine and then I will show you a picture of another traditional one. Hopefully you can hear me because the wind just picked up. Um, anyhow, um, I will uh, continue this when I get home. And I will show you my samovar. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, having tea in the Romanov house, in the Romanov palace. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back now. I'm in my, um, I'm at home in my backyard now. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, I decided to um, film out on my uh, swing here in my yard. So, um, so we're talking about tea, and we're talking about having tea, and um, I tried to get um, a lot more information about uh, the tea tradition in um, uh, Ru for, Ru for Russian imperial family, and there really wasn't that much as far as food goes. Um, I'm, I'm still looking for it because I do want to include it in in the book uh, in the cooking with the Romanovs book when uh, um, when I um, start putting it together I think that's something that would would um, be appropriate for it but um, I didn't find anything about the food so far uh, that they had with the tea but I do know they had samovars because there are pictures and I did find some information about samovars um, as I mentioned earlier about the samovars that each of the children had custom made for them and um, at the end like I said I will show you each one um, the girls anyway I don't think Alexei's uh, one survived I'm not sure what happened to it but I only found pictures of the ones for Olga, Tatiana, Maria, and Anastasia. So I'll show you those. Um, and there are pictures of them having tea, and I believe you can see some of those small, they're not very big. I think they're about the size of mine or, or even smaller. And of course, the, the main samovar could be as large as, uh, you know, maybe 
two feet or even three feet um, with the chimney and everything so um, and you will see how that's used um, in a minute because um, I have a video for you exactly how how the samovar is used uh, to make uh, hot water for tea um, so and actually I learned uh, a lot myself when when I um, researched it because I wasn't really sure myself how it's done I knew about electric samovars but um, I didn't know about uh, the, the real samovars that you actually um, uh, that's used like like a stove basically it's got the chimney and you put um, you put few you put wood in it and and kindling and stuff and this is how you you boil the water anyway it's very interesting and I think it's a you know it's a nice piece of uh, useless information maybe useful you never know so um, I think you'll enjoy it and uh, I will show you some pictures of um, the Romanovs with their samovars there are a few and I was able to locate them if if you uh, find any more of, of pictures that I haven't shown please contact me please send them to me I would love to include them in in the book because I think uh, I love those some of our pictures so yeah please please um, send them over or you know comment below let me know if maybe you've seen some other ones and or maybe you could find it and uh, that would be great because I would love to um, see them and I would love to maybe maybe include them in, in the book or um, maybe I'll make another video of uh, Oh, like a samovar related video um after the after the video um uh, i will um show you my samovar um it's um it's a it's a not it's kind of an antique one but um it is electric so i think it's from from the 40s or 50s uh but i will show it to you you'll, you'll take a look i'm not sure i don't remember and i will show you my uh tea glass with the glass holder um, and that's the traditional way of drinking tea and then I will show you how um, in uh, mostly in villages people uh, drink uh, tea from their samovar and they cool it off by using a saucer and I will show you that too uh, okay so um, let's watch the video now and I will see you after So here's a real Russian samovar that you use um, by burning. Basically, it's like a stove, works like a stove. So if you see that uh, pipe in the middle, this is where you put your wood. So first you um, add water to the inside of the samovar around the, the tube, which is a really a chimney. You add the water. And then you close it back up. And now you will be add adding kindling and uh, burning some wood to heat up the water so you start um, you ignite the uh, initial kindling there like that and you put that in to the chimney um, and then you um, add the uh, the rest of the kindling and, and uh, wood um, should be dry branches, things like that. So um, after a little while, you start seeing some steam. Um, at this point, you can add things for flavor. For example, uh, pine cones, and that adds a nice will add a nice flavor to your tea. 
Um, I suppose you can add the herbs or um, even flowers to, to add some flavoring. Um, so now it's, uh, it's burning and it will boil the water after a while. So you could see there's some flame coming out of the chimney. And then once you see the steam, uh, the water is boiled. So it looks like it's boiling nicely. What you do next is um, close up the chimney in order to stop the, the boiling. And basically you stop the, the process of boiling there um, by putting out the um, the fire, the flames, and uh, that's basically your hot waters in your samovar. Um, so you get your teapot and you add some loose tea. You pour the um, hot water from your samovar, and there you have it. Mm. This is the traditional way to drink Russian tea. You put it in a um, cup, in a glass holder like this. So you use a glass. You don't use a mug. And um, to make it even more traditional, you take a lump sugar and you sip the tea through the sugar like this. I don't have any lump sugar, so I'm not gonna do that. But that's what they do it also. Another way to do it is to take a saucer, pour some tea in the saucer, that's how you cool it off, and then sip it from the saucer. I'll show it to you a little later, I'll get a saucer. As you can see, it's just a just a small one and uh, I have no idea really what to do with it even though I sh just showed you because this one is not it's like not a real one it was a um, electric one and I brought it here from the States uh, I literally lugged it here in the suitcase from the States uh, but of course it doesn't work even with the adapter uh, because it's a different uh, electricity voltage so now it's just a decorative piece but um, it actually does work um, and uh, so let me show you what's inside it it's just really for show but you see there's like a heating um, coil there and but otherwise it's made to look like a regular samovar, um, even with the fake uh, little dome here to put out the fire like you've seen. Um, and then uh, once the water um, heats up, you turn the spigot here and, and you pour your tea. And, um, uh, well, first you, of course, you um, uh, steep it um, and you make concentrated tea from loose tea, you make concentrated liquid tea, um, and then you dilute it with this water. So I just like having it around because it's, uh, it's cool looking. It's actually fairly old. Um, I think it's from from like the 40s or the 50s. Um, so it um, uh, came from, um, I think, an estate sale or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my samovar that I lugged for hundreds of thousands of miles, kilometers, you name it, from uh, from another part of the world, and um, I'm glad I did, actually, because I love having it. Um, all right, so my saucer, it's it's a little bit flat. It's not so conducive to, to this, but but basically, uh, you know, I think it might work anyway. So basically what you do is you pour, so you pour a little bit of tea onto your saucer and then you go like this and actually you're supposed to hold it like that so, that's the right so yeah see it's it's a little bit flat but it works 
and there you go and it cools off and, and you just drink it from and again um, you use a um, lump sugar um, which you sip your tea from and then so as I mentioned earlier each Grand Duchess had a um, little samovar custom made for her um, this was Olga's Tatiana's Maria's and Anastasia's. Alexei had one, but it didn't survive. And um, here they are again. The girls having tea on the balcony of the Alexander Palace. Well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation about the samovar, and I hope you learned a few things and had fun and if you if you like this uh, channel and uh, you enjoy the videos please help support this channel by liking commenting and subscribing it really helps out to get more subscribers thank you and i will see you again next week bye